Right then, round 12. Do you know what I really love about this is if I take that away, we're looking at this, which, which is obviously, as you know, my favourite round, round 11, and it's gorgeous, it's very rich and traditional Christmassy, and then we come in with the opaline glass and bam, it's brought right up to date and it is kind of scandy and gorgeous. I really love that about mandalas. And if you haven't looked yet, do go and have a look at Amanda Williams' Yarn House um, creations. She's got some incredible patterns on there that you can have a look at. And I really recommend them because they are just really well written and, and gorgeous. This is a nice and straightforward round, is round 12. Nothing frightening here at all. Um, I want to show you, before we get going, the thing that I'm interested, I'm interested, and therefore you must be interested in. The thing I want to show you in this round, we're going to do some more front loop work. And the front loops are sort of quite well hidden here. If I go like that, you can barely see them. If I show you up close, you can maybe sort of, you can see three of them poking through there in the opaline glass color which is the pale blue but we're actually going to work with five of them the middle of the five is sitting directly above um, this long mint section here that's the middle one let me put my needle through and if i pull that down you can just see that there's two loops either side of that one that center point and two loops the other side we're going to be working into those five little front loops so just familiarize yourself with them before you make a start that's my tip that's my top tip because that's really the only tricky part of this round so let's start right so we're joining the opaline glass or light blue if you want to call it that I don't mind it's up to you we're going to join it into the second double crochet of any of the increase from the previous round so the increase just being two double crochet in one space so if i show you you can see that there's one and two so we're going to join into the second one of any of them and we're going back loops only don't forget and our regular join that we've been doing which i've got no more elegant at doing you'll be pleased to know after a million bazillion attempts because i'm doing two of these aren't i look look doing two and I've already done this one so in, in fact three so it should be good I am not it doesn't matter okay sorry moving on so I've joined um the yarn into the second of that of that increase uh from the previous round and I'm going to do two double crochet the first one it, we've just made that's going to count as the first one I'm going to do the second one right next to it as you would suspect and that sort of takes us to the oops to the edge of that little bank of four double crochet up there. We are now going to start working into those front loops. So you've familiarised yourself with them, so you'll know where they are. I can't get my attention right on this. Here we go. Um, we're going to start in the furthest most loop because we're going to we're going to need to use five going across. So just make yourself aware. If you want to, you could put your stitch marker in that middle one if you want to, just till you get familiar with it. You probably don't need to, but if you want to, that's good. That's okay. So there's my middle point. So two to the right is that one. Did you see that? Let's do that again. Middle point, two to the right. Okay, so I've done my yarn around the hook because we're doing a treble in this one. Yarn around the hook, under the loop, Pick up the yarn, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. It's a treble, you know how to do that. You know how to do that. We're going to do another one right next door to it in the next loop. There we go. That's it. And in the middle one, so in the centre point, you can see, you can see it's the centre. We're going to do two in that one. Oh, let's just mix it up a bit and do two. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to party it up a bit. I'm partying it up a bit because it's late in the day and I've I've had some caffeine so I'm ready to go. So I've got two in one space there and I'm going to do one in the next two spaces if that makes sense. So we've got two two more front loops left. I'm going to put one treble in each of those. What we're doing is we're just filling in these gaps now, hiding those bottom layers and starting to kind of bring in bring in these star shapes around the edge. To really make that poinsettia pop out in the middle. Lovely. Lovely. Right. Okay. So we've done our trebles in the front loops. We've got some stitches to skip. We're going to skip five. And it says skip five on the current round. 
what does that mean? I think it means these red ones, actually. Yes, it does. It means the red ones. So one, two, three, four, five. We're doing nothing with those. And we're going to, I mean, it's intuitive. Look, it's, it's bringing you back up to that bank of four double crochet at the top. Just whack a, a double crochet in the back loop of, of all of them. Okay. So the actual pattern says two single crochet. That, in fact, finishes our repeat. So let me stop there to look at this repeat because um, it's you, you're kind of doing two each side. You'll see what I mean. Um, where's my little pointy needle? Let's talk through the pattern repeat. So we've got our first double crochet in the second of the increase from the round before. So it's one double crochet, two double crochet. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six trebles. Okay, so they're single trebles in the first and the second of the front loops that are available. There's two trebles into the, the middle of the front loops that are available. And the single ones again, single trebles in the um, last two loops available. So you're just making that, filling in that little gap there with trebles. We're then jumping back up to that bank of four or that line of four double crochet that kind of sit at the top of these petals and we're going to to just finish our repeat by doing one and two double crochet okay so we're back to the beginning and our beginning point throughout is the second double crochet of the increase and by that I mean the second double crochet um, of round 11 where you've put two into one okay so it's quite straightforward I'll do one more and then I will stop rabbiting and let you get on with your life. So two double crochet. We're now going to start working those front loop stitches. So I'm going to pull this down so I can see them all. One treble. Oh, don't forget, folks, we are using UK terms. One treble. Two treble. And now two into the next loop. One and two. And then two more, one a piece in these last two loops. One and two. Okay, we're skipping all those red stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And we're coming up to these double crochet stitches at the top. And we're finishing with two. One and two okay so that is your repeats or there's two repeats there of this round and when you finish it it will look like that